with the UK's tax burden at an 80-year high and the Conservatives trailing Labour in the polls they want the Chancellor to go much further in easing the burden on Britain. Tory MPs have called on Jeremy Hunt to cut taxes further to boost the party's chances at the general election. With the UK's tax burden at an 80-year high and the Conservatives trailing Labour in the polls they want the Chancellor to go much further in easing the burden on Britain's. The demands came after Mr Hunt slashed another 2p off national insurance contributions in the budget. Putting tax at the heart of the looming election battle, Mr Hunt suggested the Tories could even axe the tax altogether. His intervention, as part of a package including handing more child benefit to around 500,000 families, creates a clear dividing line with Labour. But with Sir Keir Starmer's party up to 20 points clear in opinion polls some Conservatives want the Chancellor to be even bolder. Former Cabinet Minister Dame Priti Patel was among those on the government benches to welcome the 2p reduction in national insurance. But Dame Priti said, more work is required, as she also pressed ministers to help businesses benefit from our Brexit freedoms. Conservative former Minister Sir David Davis said Mr Hunt should have cut income tax rather than national insurance claiming it would have incentivised more workers over 65 to remain in. Andrew Rosendell, Tory MP for Romford, said the Chancellor is slowly but surely getting Britain's economy back on track, but told the budget debate in the Commons. However, we have much work to do. The United Kingdom has, I believe, no business in being a high-tax, low-growth and low-aspiration nation. That is not the Britain I recognise. Mr Rosendell added, we can and must do very much better. I encourage the Chancellor to go much. Dame Pretty, who previously served as a Treasury Minister, said, I want to see great changes now so we can see businesses benefit from our Brexit freedoms. Former Home Secretary Sue Ella Braverman said the budget was a missed opportunity to turn the tide for the Tories. She said, the real test for us today is asking ourselves whether these measures announced will turn the tide. I do believe this is overall a budget which has some welcome elements but it has also represented somewhat of a missed opportunity to properly send the message that we are on the side of the British taxpayer, we will lower taxes and we will galvanise the economy to produce One Nation Tories heaped praise on Mr Hunt's compassionate budget and backed the need to stick to the plan. Matt Warman, the vice chairman of the caucus, said, putting money back into hard-working people's pockets is always the right and conservative thing to do. The Chancellor's announcements today are welcome and demonstrate the importance of sticking to the plan. Combined with the compassionate policies announced, including on childcare and the NHS, they prove that we are the only party that will deliver for the British. We must continue to drive this message forwards, because if we fail to do so, we risk the damaging consequences of a Labour government and their copy and paste approach.